Greetings, FPCA family and friends. Uh, my name is Adrian Rodriguez, and I'm excited to bring forth today's moment for hope. Uh, for the short time that we have together, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of practice, the importance of practice. Um, with the NBA playoffs starting today, if you're a Mavericks fan, they uh, are playing the LA Clippers uh, this week, and they are definitely in. I'm a Spurs fan, so I'm sad that after 22 years of making it to the playoffs, the Spurs will not be in the playoffs this year. Uh, so hopefully maybe next year. So I'll root on the Dallas Mavericks uh, for this year, the hometown team. Um, but it had me think about with the playoffs starting this week, I started to think about um, one player in particular, and he is a uh, Hall of Famer. His name is Allen Iverson. And on May 7th, 2002, he delivered one of the most epic press conferences where he basically was talking about practice. Uh, he was challenged in that press conference because word had gotten out that he missed practice earlier in the week. And there were questions about him not being a team player and him being a guy that misses practice. Uh, throughout that entire interview, Allen Iverson mentioned these words. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. I think um, he mentioned the word practice about 20 something times in that interview. And his stance was that he delivered on game day. So practice we really wasn't that important to him. Or in essence, what he was trying to get the media to understand is that we're just talking about practice. We're not talking about the game, right? Um, and it made me think about um, a scripture verse uh, in Philippians 4 and 8, where the Apostle Paul uh, is given his final words of encouragement to the people of Philippi. And this is how it reads. It says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Uh, with the state of our world, country, and uh, what I like to think about uh, and been thinking about here recently is our mental health, right? Every time we turn on the TV, we hear about the coronavirus, we hear about all the cases, we hear about all the deaths, right? We hear about the, the political divide that we have, Democrat, Republican. We hear about race in America or race in our country. Uh, and then now here recently, we've heard about virtual school or do I send my kids to go in person or we shouldn't have virtual school or it should all be in person. Um, let me tell you that with all of that, and probably for you as well, it has been something that has really affected my mental health and my family's mental health because we have so many negative things that are trying to infiltrate our minds. Um, and our daughter started virtual school last week, and I'll be the first to say that it was very, very, very difficult with two parents trying to work full time from home. We have a three-year-old three at home as well that we're trying to care for. And then now having to log in and do school virtually online has been difficult and it is difficult. But we had some uh, good moments last week and some time that we were able to adjust some things and we're still learning on the fly. But I think that uh, Paul's words are so important for us during this time because it truly does remind us and it encourages us to try to stay focused on those things that are indeed honorable, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Those things that really uh, helps us focus in on Jesus, right? That keeps our minds really focused in and set on the word of God, right? And we can do a lot of those things through reading the word of God and through prayer, and I think that the key verse here and the importance here is for us to keep putting those things 
into practice, right? Those things that we have learned from the Lord, uh, those things that we have learned from his word and uh, the opportunities that we have daily to pray to him and ask him for guidance and for assistance in just our daily living. Um, so um, in the words of Allen Iverson, we're talking about practice. Yes, let's continue to do those things. Let's continue to practice digging into the word, to practice being in prayer and to practice loving others, right? And to pack, practice those things that are lovely and admirable. And then I love the last statement here that uh, Paul tells us, and it says, then the God of peace will be with you. And I truly do believe that when we keep our minds focused on Jesus, that we keep when we keep our minds focused on his word, or if we keep our minds in prayer, that is then that the God of peace will definitely be with you. And then that we would also then experience some of that same peace that he has given us. So that's my word of encouragement for you all today. It's, it, it's okay to turn off the TV. It's okay to block the outside world out sometimes for a few moments of your day and focus your time on Jesus. Thank y'all for your time. I love y'all and looking forward to seeing all of you together hopefully soon in worship. Bye-bye.